guys and gals, I am that 80s nostalgic toy guy, and welcome back to the collector's table. Welcome back. You know, sometimes there are products that come in that are new to my collection that I've never had before, and that's the case with this figure right here. And sometimes I just got to get to the collector's table to unbox them and just go over them for the channel. And that's this handmade by robots killer clowns from outer space chubby figure. I am a huge killer clowns from outer space movie fan, figure fan, everything. I'm just nostalgic about this 80s cult classic horror film, killer clown film crazy b-movie horror film it's just absolutely nostalgic and awesome to watch and our family watches it so much so often almost maybe too often i probably shouldn't be bragging about that but but we love it here in this family i have many figures and memorabilia about this film and this is a new one for me this uh, handmade by robots vinyl figure right here. I have every figure that these handmade by vinyl uh, toys come in and they're similar to like uh, the Funko Pop type stuff, but it looks like those figures in there like uh, are made in a fashion that look like they've been knitted by, oh, let's just say one's grandparent uh, to look like uh, one of their figures. So I got this one in the mail, the first of all those figures that I ordered, and I just wanted to go over it really quickly. This is a really quick video to celebrate my awesome 80s cult classic, Killer Clowns from Outer Space film, Chubby, and this new product to the collector's table. Before I move on, go ahead and hit the like button on this video, hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to the channel, and go ahead and hit that notification bell, that way you don't miss out on any future handmade by robots figures because I've got a lot more. Now I get addicted. I'm here today because I'm addicted. If you're not new to the channel, you know what I mean. And if you're new to the channel, you'll soon know what I mean. So this one figure that I found that I like because Chubby is one of my favorite killer clowns from outer space, I went ahead and found out that they had more sets of figures. So guess what I did? I ordered them. So we're gonna go over a lot of these figures. I really love the Funko Pops. I love a lot of the other little small vinyl figures. I got a lot of collections of those. And I swear, I think these are gonna be my next big vinyl collection because I really like what these look like. Before we pop this figure out of this box here and add them to my collection, let's go ahead and go over this awesome, nostalgic, Killer Clowns from Outer Space, handmade by robots, vinyl figure, box art. So if you look right there, I'm trying to keep that glare down there, but if you look up there up front, first off, you can see in there and you can see Chubby sitting down there all knitted up in vinyl and everything. And then you see all those logos and those totally awesome nostalgic colors there. Uh, these guys and gals who make these uh, handmade by robots figures, spare no expense on the box art. I tell you what, they must have some investment in ink or whatever, because these boxes are covered in art. That place great or what? It looks like it was decorated by Clowns R Us. So all over this box, everywhere we see, there is just something to do with either the figure maker here or the Killer Clowns from Outer Space movie or Chubby the Killer Clown, including on the back here, which looks to be a uh, artwork of this figure that's inside this box. <laughs> The Killer Clowns from Outer Space movie logo is just one of my favorites. Uh, once I see it, I get really antsy to watch the films to see what's going on behind the post that, uh, that is made for the Killer Clowns from Outer Space, to watch the video, what have you. I really like that Killer Clowns from Outer Space logo. Killer Clowns from Outer Space. It's crazy. On the bottom here, we see that it says uh, this figure is made by BDA in like a little circle of collectibles. So without further ado, let's pull Chubby out of this small box. No, a lot of my little vinyl figures I don't pull out of the box, but there are certain ones that I like to pull out of the box. So this one right here has got me really intrigued to see what it looks like, feels like, and uh, just kind of look over it. Uh, so I'm going to pull it out of here. 
So we got this nice little plastic piece here that holds in Chubby there. As you can see, it kind of looks like, you know, a lot of those uh, uh, Funko Pop figures that we get, you know, and a lot of those other vinyl figures. Really nice packaging here, and it kind of pops together with these little tabs. And I see something really cool on the back of this, and we're going to go over that really quick. All right, guys and gals, this is actually fairly cool and fairly cute. Now, before I go over the colors and the look of this thing and the feel of this thing, I wanted to look at that little piece that got me intrigued when I opened up the cardboard box to reveal the plastic packaging around this chubby figure. Look at this right here. This right here is unique to me. I've had a lot of vinyl figures. I've got tons of vinyl figures. I have never seen a vinyl figure with a barcode little tag on it. That is absolutely cool. Check that out. You see that? Yeah, I saw that. That was incredible. It actually has that barcode on there. It actually says handmade by robots on there. That's pretty cool. On the bottom here, we got some logos there. And we got this thing that makes me feel like this is a bath toy here with that little hole there. Uh, like if this thing gets wet or whatever, you can squeeze the water out of it. Uh, and it is actually a little bit softer. You could push it a little bit, but it's definitely not soft. It's, it's fairly thick stuff here. But before I bid you adieu, let's just go ahead and look at this thing. I mean, it looks like chubby. It looks like it's got that like knitted uh, feature to it. Like uh, my grandma made a lot of stuff for me. Uh, a lot of knitted things, a lot of knitted toys, and lots of knitted blankets, which I still have to this day. And uh, you guessed it, they are in the pattern of those awesome 1980s, 1970s knitted blankets. Now talk about nostalgia right there. Knitted blankets and knitted looking toys. This is pretty cool right here. This is just a fun time to be a collector right now because there are so many people out there, so many creative people that are making awesome things like this. Look at those colors there. If you're a The Killer Clowns from Outer Space fan, movie watcher, casual fan, or someone just knows about the film, Go ahead and leave me some comments in the comment section. That way we can chat about our favorite cult classic, Killer Clown Movie. We see that nice little red hair. It's got those three little pieces that come up over his face and uh, forehead there. And then you see that his ponytail or whatever goes down the back there, almost like a rat tail, which I had back in the late 80s. <laughs> We got that nice pink uh, clown costume with the uh, blue ruffles around the neck there. It's got those yellow shoes, boots on there. Little hands that are uh, actually just white. But the coup de gras there is that face and that facial expression. Now, this movie may be a cult classic film, but the characters that they made, the artists behind those masks and those costumes that these killer clowns of outer space wore, those things are absolutely amazing. There was like no expense spared on those things. And uh, they're, they're just absolutely amazing. And they really imprinted on this nostalgic guy right here. And I really love these figures right here. So this is Chubby from the Killer Clowns from Outer Space. The handmade by robots, a BDA figure here with totally awesome colors, totally awesome knit look. And that awesome, cool, little, flimsy, little uh, tag here that comes off the back here. It's just that added piece of coolness. And uh, I really do like this figure. So if you haven't had those figures or haven't seen one or don't have one or never heard of um, these figures, I'm going to have a link in the description section so you can go check them out yourself. This is bizarre. What kind of circus is this? I've got many more coming. So go ahead and hit that like button on this video for me. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. And go ahead and hit that notification bell. That way you don't miss out on any of those future Handmade by Robots unboxings. And just kind of reviews and go overs. And collection editions. I mean these things are really cool. And I can't wait to add those other collections to my collection. I am that A's Nostalgic Toy Guy. This has been the unboxing and review of Mr. Chubby here from the Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Killer Clowns. The Handmade by Robots vinyl figure here. I look forward to getting back to the collector's table real soon to unbox something awesome, something cool, something old, or something new. All right, guys and gals. 
I do not want to be wrapped up in a cotton candy cocoon by Mr. Chubby here. I need to escape. I will see you back at the collector's table real soon.